welcome to Psychology of Acting. Here I'm going to equip you on how to apply psychological principles within acting. Today's focus is going to be on Kohlberg stages of moral development and how to apply it within um, characters within a scene. Who is Lawrence Kohlberg? He developed the concept that it comes in um, different levels. There's a pre-conventional, conventional, and post-conventional, which I'll get into further and I'm going to apply two of those levels within the characters within the scene that we're going to take a look at. So let's get started. Level one is pre-conventional morality. This means right or wrong doing, think everything's determined by rules, laws, and punishment. Avoid getting into trouble. Um, and avoid punishment so that behavior is going to be driven based on fear of punishment so this is a fear-based model of morality and everything is black or white wrong to steal that loaf of bread to feed your starving family yes they are going to jail because they stole the bread that's what a five-year-old child would say because they are um, functioning on this pre-conventional morality of level one. Conventional morality, level two. And this one's pretty much um, driven by just think law and order, okay? So we have people um, obeying rules because that's what you're supposed to do. You know, most active members in society are actually um, still functioning on this level uh, because they're pretty much dictated by an outside force. Think of a doctor who um, gets um, board certified, right? And so they have to make sure that they follow this code of ethics. This is a little bit more advanced than the pre-conventional because the pre like I said, the pre-conventional is more like fear-based driven with like, oh, I'm going to behave this way because I want to fear, I'm, I want to avoid punishment because I'm fearful of it. Where in this situation, you're following rules um, willingly, so to speak, uh, in order to function in society, to be um, to avoid social disapproval. So here we are, level three, post-conventional morality. And just so I want you to think of um, universal ethical principles. The individual acts because it is the morally right thing to do and not because they want to avoid punishment, because they genuinely believe, I, I believe in this, I'm not fear-based, this is what I do because I feel like that's good for humanity and I'm going to do this. They'll often kind of disobey certain rules if they find it to be inconsistent with their own personal values. And so a great example that you could think about at this level, is, was it wrong to steal a loaf of bread to feed your starving family? And so when you think about that, at the post-conventional level, um, people at that level would say, not necessarily um, because I was doing it to provide for my family. I went down to the morgue to rerun the antibodies test. You ran it twice? Turns out I couldn't get in. They had an armed guard. But I found this. It's a sign-in sheet for the morgue. Your signature. That was just before you guys reran the test. What were you guys doing there? Follow up on a clinic case. What case? <laughs> Is this really that important? One of the patients at the morgue was an 80 year old woman with scleroderma. You and Carmen, if you took her blood, you could have messed with the test results, so we treated a boy with the wrong disease. Carmen. Carmen had nothing to do with it. You son of a bitch. He was gonna kill them too. Every last one of them. I don't care what he was gonna do. He came to us and put his life in our hands. We don't get to choose. Look, all the good we've done, all the lives we've saved, it would have meant nothing if we just let him go kill hundreds of thousands of people. Look at Please 
warn me so I can tell my husband first. John, do you really think that you could kill another human being and not have any consequences to yourself? So we have Olivia, the chief medical advisor. Okay, she's highly ethical, so think of her as being in this conventional stage in rally where most of society um, pretty much stays. And so why do we find her at this level? It's because her morality is dictated by an outside force. So thank the ethics board, you know, for her doctor licensure. And so when she's questioned by Charlie, um, she says, it wasn't our it wasn't our choice to choose or it wasn't our life to take you know and so um, she's she's pretty much making her she's driving her behavior based on this outside force the ethics, ethics board because you know do no harm we, we follow the, the, these ethics like we're doctors even if this is a dictator who's gonna kill hundreds of thousands of people at this situation um, we're just looking at the current situation and not the universal situation as compared to where Charlie is a moral peace activist. And so Charlie would be at the post-conventional stage of morality. And the reason here is because Charlie makes a decision to disobey the rules, which is the ethics board, because Charlie is also a doctor. Um, so disobey those rules because Charlie finds it to be inconsistent with um, her own personal values, which is, hey, you know what? I'm going to do what I need to do to save hundreds of thousands of lives because this is an opportunity to do so, um, even though it's taking the life of someone because I want to I want to do it for the goodness of that, that, for mankind, you know, and to save a whole human race. And so Charlie over here is at the post-conventional level. Olivia is at the conventional level.